I am Marcus Aurelius. I was a Roman emperor who ruled from 161 to 180 AD. I'm known for my philosophical writings, particularly my book, Meditations, in which I shared my personal thoughts and reflections. As a military leader, I led campaigns in Germania and against the Parthian Empire. I'm often regarded as one of Rome's most respected emperors, known for my wisdom and compassion towards others. I am honored to share some of my famous quotes with you here. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. A man's worth is no greater than his ambitions. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Our life is what our thoughts make it. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Nothing happens to any man that he is not formed by nature to bear. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. That which is not good for the beehive cannot be good for the bees. The universe is transformation. Life is opinion. Nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. Poverty is the mother of crime. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard accordingly, and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable nature. Each day provides its own gifts. Here is the rule to remember in the future, when anything tempts you to be bitter, not, this is a misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. Do every act of your life as if it were your last. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? Time is a sort of river of passing events, and strong is its current. No sooner is a thing brought to sight than it is swept by and another takes its place, and this too will be swept away. Loss is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. The only wealth which you will keep forever is the wealth you have given away. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Everything that happens happens as it should, and if you observe carefully, you will find this to be so. I have often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinions of himself than on the opinions of others. Look back over the past, with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future, too. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. Begin. To begin is half the work. Let half still remain. Again begin this, and thou wilt have finished. Natural ability without education has more often raised a man to glory and virtue than education without natural ability. Life is neither good or evil, but only a place for good and evil. If you enjoyed the video, please help support the channel with a like and leave a comment. Thank you.